Hi, my name's Rob at BackyardSidekick.com and in this video I wanted to show you 10 archery practice drills you can do uh, you can do these at home but it's this is really for beginners to uh, improve your accuracy and get better at archery now I'm not an expert I'm not a professional archery I'm not really good or you know anything like that but these 10 things helped me when I was a beginner so Watching my uh, accuracy improve and getting better at archery was it's really cool. So I was hoping maybe this could help somebody else that's just getting started. Um, so I actually wrote these all out in an article. Um, you can open a new tab, go to backyardsidekick.com slash archery practice. And I'll list all 10 of these with instructions, how to do them, what, you know, what they're, they'll improve and stuff like that. But um, yeah, let's get into it. 10 archery practice drills to, for beginners. So number one is the uh, blind shooting. Now when I first started doing this I thought it was weird. So what you do is you stand real close to your target you know eight feet at max I guess away because what you're gonna do is draw the bow with an arrow and so you want to be aiming at your target but you're doing this blind so you're closing your eyes and it seems odd, but what this is helping is now you're not aiming at a target. You're not worried about what you're looking at. You close your eyes and focus on your form and how you're pulling, drawing the bow, your knocking point. Um, it, closing the eyes helps you to reduce distraction and, and so you can focus on just your, uh, just your form. It reduces the urge to release. I know when I pull back, I want to get on target and, and let it go. That's not the point of the drill. So I, I put that as number one because form is really important and that really helps you learn how to quickly get um, into a shooting position and work on your form. Now number two is a small target drill. Now the small target drill, I love this one. It's probably my favorite one because you get to see your accuracy improving as you go. So what I do is I just go and get a stack of paper plates. You can get like a stack of a hundred for two bucks and then I'll draw circles on these. So for example, you know, this was using like an old CD or something and um, get to about 10-20 yards, wherever you're shooting, wherever you're comfortable with. But the goal is to get 8 out of 10 arrows within the circle. And once you do that, you know, draw a smaller circle. And so you can see how you're watching yourself improve. That's the best part of it. Once you're, you know, you knock this plate out, you knock this one out, and go all the way down to, we went down to about a quarter size. And once you get an 8 out of 10 on here, you you it's a confidence builder your accuracy is improving so i really like that one and then you know if you're getting eight out of ten in a quarter size maybe back up ten feet start over uh drill number three is distance shooting now this drill isn't just hey see how far you can shoot it's really training at different distances so i never actually go too far out to be honest maybe uh 30 yards is about as far as I go. We have a range in our backyard, so I don't have tons of space. But the point of distance shooting is to have a, you know, a marker set up at 10 yards, 20 yards, and 30 yards, for example. And you'll shoot at those different distances. So you're training uh, how to judge distance by eye, which I guess that'd be more helpful for hunters, but... It's a fun training and even for target shooting to be able to shoot at different distances uh, as you go, that's a benefit. So it's mostly adapting. So you can go from 10 to 30 and not skip a beat. Number four is a aiming drill. Now, the point of this drill is to have an arrow knocked in the bow aiming at a target um, but you're not necessarily you, you don't need to actually release an arrow so the point is you're practicing your aiming get draw the bow get to the knocking point and hold it 
hold it for, I guess you set the time, uh, we do about a minute, or 30 seconds to 60 seconds, you just hold that stance. So you're getting used to the tension of the bow, you're getting used to holding your form, um, holding your knocking point, and that's really just like a muscle memory type of thing. It's like a workout, I guess, your strength building, the muscles needed to uh, draw the bow. And that helps, and that takes some time, but that helps after a few weeks to start noticing, oh, I can draw and, and aim at the target quicker than I used to. Holding the aim on the target, holding your uh, sights on that target is important. Number five, target change up. Now I put this one in the list just because it's fun, but it's a good training exercise. You need a buddy for this one, so you'll have someone, what, what we do is you'll be on the range, looking down range at the targets, and you'll have to turn around, close your eyes, your buddy will go out and move the target either you know, left, right, a different distance. He'll basically move the target on you without you seeing where it is. And then when they're clear of the range, that's important, make sure they're perfectly clear from uh, downrange. They'll yell out, hey, go ahead. You have to turn around. And we put a time limit on ourselves here. We do 15 seconds, and that can be whatever your skill level is. But you have 15 seconds to get on target and take a shot. So that's fun. That's a fun way to just kind of uh, increase your reaction time. So it, it'll improve speed and uh, target acquisition, stuff like that. And it's fun. So number six, angle drill. Uh, this one, we, we practice this, but not as often as the others. Um, and the point of the angle drill is to, you're basically just shooting at the target at different angles. And so what this is supposed to help with is you, you practice at different angles, shooting at the target from the left side, right side, wherever it may be. And then when you go back to your normal um, firing point on the range where you're just head on you're, you'll see a little bit improved accuracy there because it's not as tough as a shot anymore you're getting yourself used to taking tough shots so when you go back to a standard shot you're you're more likely to uh, improve that way number seven around the clock now this is another one that's just a fun game, but it's actually uh, will improve your accuracy. So what we do again is paper plates. We love these things. And we used to buy targets and just ruin them, shred them up. And you, you can buy stacks of paper targets, of course, but the paper plates are so much cheaper and just draw on them wherever you want. So we'll do 3, 6, 9, 12. Basically, it looks like a clock. And... What we do is um, we'll make this a little competition. So you you get four arrows. You got to shoot three, six, nine, and we you can't hit the paper plate. That's one of the rules. But you have to get close as you can. For example, this nine without hitting the plate. Now whoever gets closest gets the point. It's basically a fun game to uh, try aiming at different areas on a target rather than just dead center all the time. Now we're on to number eight, uh, the countdown drill. This is another one where you need a buddy. So the countdown drill is someone will yell out a number and you'll hear that number and they'll start counting from one to that number. Try to keep it below 30 because really what this drill is, is you're holding until you hear them get back to that number. So it's another strength training type of drill, but in this case, you get to loose an arrow at the target. When they, when they reach that number, they called out in the beginning. So now we're on to number nine. Now these last two are training drills you can do without needing your um, equipment or without needing a range. And I threw these in because these helped me a lot when I was just watching TV. Um, stretch bands so or, or for example if you have your bow and you can just practice your form getting to your knocking point while you're watching TV 
where you're just you can't get outside of the range or you know there's a blizzard whatever that's when I would do this most but people buy these stretch bands and it's just the motion you're training your muscles and building up the strength needed to uh, practice archery and number 10 is very similar but you can use your bow in fact um, number 10 you have to use your bow you don't need an arrow you don't need a range and number 10 is called mirror form so basically you get your bow get to the knocking point and watch yourself in a mirror watch your form make sure you're pulling across your chest make sure you can get to that same knocking point every time you really want to check the subtle you know your arm movements and um, stuff like that and that should help improve your form which will improve accuracy so uh, I hope this helped you out if you're a beginner learning archery I know this helped me um, and watching your skills improve is just one of the best feelings so if this did help you uh, subscribe to our channel we do all kinds of backyard related stuff not just archery uh, just anything in the backyard and it helps us out if you subscribe and if you're into that um, again I'll you know I'll put a link to that website in the description in case that's easier for you to get to it that way and uh, that's it thanks for watching